with the baseball. Let's get a look at that baseball. Got the ball. Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> How's your wrist doing? Wrist is good. No more seams. We're all good. No more. Okay. Where, where the exactly? Ball? This is the ball. This oh, is I said, the, did you dent it? Oh, did, the, did I dent the ball? No. <laughs> it hit me right here. Okay, okay. so, so what, are you, what are you thinking? The ball's coming at you. We, I mean, I posed the question to him a second. What are you thinking? The ball's coming at you. You got like a split second to make that decision. So I sat down in the seats thinking, okay, if I hit a home run, or if someone hits a home run, there's a chance it could come to me, but it's got to be smoked. That ball was pummeled. It was. And, I mean, it was a line drive homer. Yeah, yeah, and the way it's hit, and for it to hit where, it, where I'm at, it's got to be curving as it's coming because it's the natural oh, curve. So science this, yeah. okay but I, I, <laughs> right. so, so I, I played out like I played it's, it's an excuse for why you didn't actually catch it though yeah I hear a lot of reasons <laughs> <laughs> I played I played outfield in high school so I'm used to tracking a fly ball mm -hmm. and stuff but it's never 105.6 miles per hour so I I just thought how kept, fast would that have been on Mars since we posed this yes. question last week with like the gravity well, the or whatever. gravitational pull on Mars <laughs> <laughs> okay so you, you said you played baseball but you also yeah. played football yeah when you were a safety and maybe there was like a blind side block or something like that, what hurts a little bit more? Getting your bell rung there getting or your bell rung? Oh yeah, bell rung. But this so you would take guy you would here. take I, that hitting your wrist again over getting your bell rung in football. Oh yes, oh okay. yes. You can at least put some ice on this, right? You, can, you get your bell rung in a college football game. That's a whole different story. Okay, so look, I, I went to the very source of this whole thing, and that is Reds player Kyle Farmer. Oh I talked to him the other day. Step out of the way here, and let's hear what Kyle Farmer had to say to Brandon. No, I would move out of the way. I mean, <laughs> usually when a ball is coming at you 106 miles an hour, you move out of the way. But um, Or have a glove. You come to the ballpark with a glove expecting to catch one. So I don't really know what Brandon was thinking there. <laughs> You know, Brandon, I think next time bring a glove and, and don't wear a Cubs shirt to a uh, Cincinnati Reds game. Called you out by name, man. No Big glove, time. though. I'm I, a man. I, speaking of being a man, one question. Most men would, you know, catch a home run ball and, you know, give it to a kid. Did that ever run through your mind? I did think about throwing it back because at Wrigley Field, it's yeah. a posting home run. But then I'm but like, eh. you're at a Reds game and it was home run by a Red. Right. But <laughs> it's, they were at least playing the Cubs, right? If it wasn't the Cubs, it'd be a different story. So uh, he, said, he said don't wear a Cubs shirt to a Reds game. Okay. Got something for you here. Oh, my. Look you at will, the fanfare. There it is. <laughs> you will never have to do that again. It's not a Kyle Farmer jersey. It's a Joey Votto jersey. Hey, I'll take it. Right? It'll Thank still you. show up Appreciate the bicep it. spine on a day off. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, I'd love to get a Kyle Farmer jersey. That's the next thing okay. on the list. Okay. But I'm the sock guy. That's love what the sock they call guy. me. I've got more than 300 pairs of socks. Okay. I figured. Oh, whoa! Okay. Yeah, we're breaking that out for you. We take a step back. Oh, we yeah, got, we got, that, the we got the close up, up yeah. right there. I figured the red leg socks okay. would be the uh, the play for today. But until I get the far farmer jersey, this I'll be is a real these moment things. right yeah. here. I mean, we got a. You're Brandon's a big Cubs fan. Die hard. I've got Cubs season tickets, so that's big. not going anywhere. But. I'm happy. This is great. Here. I think Cincinnati Reds fans out there will really, really. This really is the first thing this. I did. The first weekend I was here, I went and bought Red Sox. We okay. need to get you Red Stirrups now. Stirrups? I mean, you start oh, yes. wearing stirrups on air. That'd be kind of cool. Uh -huh. <laughs>